Well, you've probably heard a little bit about this comet that's approaching the Earth and may be visible in some areas as we head through the next couple of weeks or so. Some details about it. It only passes by the Earth once every 50,000 years. So the last time I passed by here was actually during the Ice Ages when none of us remember it. You probably won't see this again in our lifetimes unless it's a really big advance in science. You never know. Yeah, probably not in my lifetime, though. And uh, it'll be visible through the night sky pretty much through about February 12th when it goes below the horizon. Then it'll dip down toward the southern hemisphere. So go go down to Australia or places like that to see it. And finally, it'll make its closest approach around uh, January 31st. That'll be one of the best times to see it. I'll give you some other times in just a minute. Now you want to know how to view this? It's going to be in the northern skies, mainly to the north-northeast right now as I film this. However, we'll be gradually moving to the northwest with time and getting a little bit lower in the sky as it passes by the Earth. Now the comet will be, not be as bright as Neowise. Some of you remember that from three years ago when it was pretty easy to see with the naked eye. This one won't be quite as bright, but you may be able to see it with the naked eye if things uh, set up right. You know, Peter's just a fuzzy mass, now it's sharp like stars, and it's not going to twinkle like the stars either. And finally, it's going to be best viewed with binoculars or if you have a telescope, a spotting scope, something like this. But you may be able to see it with the naked eye, especially if you get out into a dark place and seeing how this is Wyoming. That's not going to be much of a problem. Now, as far as the best days to see this, uh, the day, good date might be this weekend, the 20th and the 21st. It's still pretty far away, but the big thing now is we're heading into a new moon, so the sky will be rather dark. And when I look above the Big Dipper, it's a pretty well-known constellation looking off to the north. Another good time to see this, July 29th to the 31st. Look toward Polaris. That's the uh, North Star. Just a fancy name for it. And how to find that? Go to the Big Dipper. You find the ladle. Look at the uh, furthest right, and then look up from that. That'll be the North Star. Looking just about due north, it'll be right around there. Now, the problem with this time is we're going to be in a full moon, so it may actually dim the comet a little bit. But I think the easiest time to see it, it'll be a little low on the horizon here, but February 9th through the 11th, look toward the planet Mars. That'll be fairly low in the sky, but Mars is a fairly bright object out there, fairly easy to find. And the comet will be right around that planet during this time. Happy stargazing, everyone.